Howdy partner. Welcome to Grow with Dr. Jonette. Today we are going to be grilling four delicious budget-friendly barbecue recipes. Maybe you don't have a barbecue and that's no problem because two of our recipes don't require a barbecue. Of course if you have a barbecue you can make them on the barbecue. In addition two of our recipes are vegan so if you're vegan and love barbecue we've got you covered. Today in our barbecue roundup we have grilled flank steak, barbecued ribs, grilled vegetables and an amazing vegan burger. Even if you aren't vegan you are going to love this burger recipe. Make it vegan or make it with meat. Either way it will be delicious. Thank you for clicking the like button, subscribing, and signing up for notifications so that we can continue to bring you lots of easy, healthy, delicious, and budget-friendly recipes that also are good for your brain as well as your body. So let's get grilling.
Hi, Dr. Joe here on Grow with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to be cooking up some burgers. Not the real burgers, but the plant-based protein burgers. I found this Beyond Beef the other day in my local Whole Foods and brought it home. Can't wait to try it with my favorite hamburger recipe. Let's get cooking. I put the cabbage and onion in measuring bowls to see how much there are. It's two cups of onions to four cups of cabbage. Into the frying pan, I'm going to put my four tablespoons of butter. Let them start melting. Once they're mostly melted, I'm going to add two cups of sliced onions. I have the heat on medium high. And four cups of sliced cabbage. Just let that cook a little bit. That's pretty much the recipe. We'll season it with some salt and pepper, but cook it until it's the amount of doneness you like. If you like it real crunchy, stop cooking it sooner. If you like it nice and soft, let it cook further. Give it a stir. It's been like five minutes. You can see it start to get a little brown on the bottom. I actually like a little bit of browning. If you don't like it to brown up a little bit, then go ahead and stir it more frequently. I'm gonna check the onion. It's a little crunchy still. Getting very close though to how I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt. And a little pepper. Seven minutes and I would say this is done. I'm adding the Beyond Beef to the bowl. Break it up a little bit. To the beef, I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of steak sauce, two tablespoons of chopped red peppers, a quarter of a small yellow onion, one clove of garlic, a quarter of a cup of chopped cilantro, and a teaspoon of dried oregano. Salt and pepper. About a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to mix it all up. And that will be my burger. That looks good. This is my burger's special sauce. Start with a half a cup of mayonnaise, a couple of tablespoons of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcestershire and two tablespoons of sweet pickle relish. Stir it all up and this is what we're going to spread on the bread or on the rolls. About two tablespoons per roll. I formed the Beyond Burgers into patties and we're going to fry them up. Each patty is about a quarter of a pound. You could grill them but I'm going to go ahead and fry them as they appear to be fairly soft and I think would be difficult to grill. Uh, it's my recommendation that if you want to grill them, I would freeze them or refrigerate them for a while first to let them firm up. So we're going to fry them. I'm going to go ahead and fry up. I've got the pan on medium high. It's been cooking about two minutes now. I actually turned the heat down to medium. Let's turn it over and see little darker than I want, but looks pretty good. I'm going to turn the pan down even further. Now cook another two minutes. It's been cooking four minutes now. Both sides look nice and uh, brown, and when I press on it, it feels like it's soft, cooked all the way through. So let's go ahead and assemble our burger. 
time to assemble our burger. I've toasted the hard roll in the oven a little bit, put the aioli, a nice generous amount of the aioli sauce on it. Put it on both sides. The burger goes on next. Perfect size. Our sauteed cabbage and onions. Put the tomato on top of the burger and see if we can put that all together without it all falling apart. Now that is a nice looking burger. Thank you for watching and subscribing and helping me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers to my channel by the end of 2023.